Good afternoon. Happy New Year. My name is Principal Hasbury Signal, and I am the proud principal of PS140 Ellington Magnet here in South Jamaica. I want to thank all of our parents for all of their support. Yesterday, we had our District 28 Community Educational Council meeting, and many of you showed up. Thank you so much for contributing to our success. You know, as I reflect on all the things of what we've had for the past few years, I'm very, very proud of our parents and our students. Our students for ELA for last school year scored over 50% on the proficiency range. That is an amazing feat. I am beginning my 14th year here as part of the administrative team here at Ellington Magnet. And I can tell you when I first started 14 years ago, we teetered somewhere below 3% for proficiencies for grades three, four, and five. Then of course, if we speed ahead and talk about the proficiency rating throughout the COVID era, many of our students did not take the state assessments and they did very well. Our proficiency ratings were within 60% for ELA and because we didn't have that many students take the math assessment, the state didn't give us the credit to reflect as such. However, last year, we are looking very strong and we are looking at in the 60s as well as the 50s for ELA and math as far as the growth and the proficiency rating of level threes and fours for our students that are exceeding or approaching standards. And we need to take a moment and pat ourselves on the back for that. Now, as we go into testing season, it is testing season again. And we've been to school now for the past four days. You've seen students come home and talk about our MAP assessment. And next week will be our iReady assessments. So please check out our weekly and our monthly newsletters as we are sharing all of this information with our parents. We're also giving you helpful hints as to what you can do with your children at home to ensure they, their success. Also, I'm a mom myself and I'm reflecting on my middle school students. My middle school students are having grave challenges at the middle school level on sustaining relationships, how to make friends, how to have, be an advocate for yourself, and how to listen to the adults. So we want to reflect that in our practice as well here at PS140 as a mother, as a principal, as a devoted educator, we want to make sure that we are sending out the same message and making sure that our students are in a healthy state of mind when it comes to their mental state. Parents, we care about you as well. Sometimes parents get so frustrated and they really don't know how to express their frustrations to us. Remember that we are human too. We want to be able to listen, accept your feedback, and then put changes in action. In order for me to actually do that and lead this amazing work within our school community, I need our parents to be involved. Next month, during the month of February, we will have a town hall meeting. During our town hall meeting, you will have an opportunity to ask questions around bullying, around the code of conduct for New York City, and what are some things that we do here at the school that is age appropriate for elementary school students in regards to consequences and how to change behavior. Something else that we really learned this year is we've paid very close attention to our exceptional students programs. And those programs would be around our gifted and talented students, as well as our students with individual IEPs, someone that would have an individual educational plan, as well as our students with, that are multiple language learners. We are always talking about ways on how to reach our students, how to have entry points within the curriculum, and really how can we communicate with our parents to ensure that they are able to complete the homework. We've started our early morning program to where our building opens at 7.15 for our multiple language learners, as well as we have our Champs basketball program. And today you can see that I am dressed down in sneakers as today was our first basketball game for Home of the Sharks of the season. And I must say we did win. 
We have also recorded the game for you and you're more than welcome to watch it on our Facebook page or on our YouTube channel, or you can click on the button right here at this message. Remember, we have created a hub of information for you. This month, we are reading The Proudest Blue. Please read this book with your child. Every morning, we have a very specific discussion protocol that's building wide and we share it in a digital format. So it looks like we're watching a TV screen. So we're going to dive into this book for this month find out what the book is about. I'm not gonna tell you what's it about because the student should be reading it with their parents and reading it throughout the day with multiple opportunities with their peers. Also, we have Battle of the Books. Yes, the theme is read, read, read. We are quite a few weeks away from the New York State Assessment for ELA. All fifth graders. If you are a fifth grader in our building, you are required to take the state assessment. There will be no opt-outs this year. If parents want to have a rich discussion about opting their students out, please make an appointment with me so we can discuss and review the data together. New York State has rolled out um, a digital program to where all fifth graders will take the assessment on the computer. So you can ask your fifth graders if you've had time to practice in our state of art computer lab, because we are definitely providing those opportunities. For everyone else, we're still gonna go back to the paper and pencil. So we wanna ensure that you're using every single opportunity that is provided to you. Homework is very, very important. If you don't understand the homework, if you have questions about it, please reach out to your classroom teacher. Check us out on our website as we've provided um, specific problems, we've provided uh, videos, all of those things to support your learning. We're also looking forward to launching our relationship and partnership with NTN. NTN we've had before, but we're going to focus and build up our teacher's toolkit around teaching mathematics for grades K through five. So look forward to an introduction for those individuals that are supporting your students with that. Once again, if you need information about the after school program, the dial a teacher program that's sponsored by the UFT here in New York City, or if you have questions about birthday parties, your first point of contact should be your child's teacher. Thank you for giving me this opportunity to share this happy new year message with you. And I'll see you guys in the morning at the front door. Have a great day.